premise liability law is the body of law that makes a person or entity in possession of land or property responsible for certain injuries to persons that are on that land or property. Slip and fall injuries can occur in public or private places. We typically see them in my practice in both uh, supermarkets, grocery stores, theme parks, malls, pretty much wherever there's a defective condition or hazardous condition in which my client falls. Typically my practice sees injuries that may require surgery or may not require surgery. Uh, we see spiral fractures to the legs, we see hand fractures when the clients are guarding when they're falling, uh, wrist sprains, neck sprains, mid-back, low-back sprains. These are typical or common injuries for slip and fall. Typically an injured person is going to need to prove three items to be successful on a slip and fall case. First, the injured person needs to show that the hazardous condition or slippery substance that they fell on was not open and obvious, meaning it wasn't easily seen. The second item that an injured person needs to prove is that the hazard or slippery substance that they slipped on uh, was within the control or dominion of the defendant, the person who was at fault for the injury. And the third item is notice. Uh, the, the injured person needs to prove that the person who caused the injury had notice of the dangerous condition and did nothing to remedy it. And they either had actual notice of that slippery substance or hazardous condition, or they had constructive notice of it. What I do in my law office is I meet with my client one-on-one -on -one and we go through the details and the facts of how that slip and fall occurred, how my client fell, and what the substance was that caused the fall. These are important and once those are determined, we can best assess the case and see if there's liability. All of my legal work is done on a contingency fee basis, which means that if I don't win a case, my client doesn't pay me. So if I don't recover, I don't charge my client for my time, effort, fees, or costs. This makes it a no financial risk to the client.